Alrighty guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and I'm Giovanni Brenes and today we got a high fade for you guys and this particular client usually gets a mid fade but I asked him what he wanted to get and he was like, eh, let's do a high fade this time. Alright, so right here we start off with the main guideline with the trimmers setting it in at the corner of the lineup then after that we want to debulk so what i always like to do is kind of get these trimmers which are kind of sharp and uh, bald them out it usually just makes my job easier I don't know if you guys will notice but for this video I'm doing one side at a time so you guys will kind of see how I do it alrighty guys show some support and drop a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel Right here we're getting all the little hairs off with our little dust remover I really like it because it's nice and easy it's it has some nice force to it and it gets the hairs off nice and easy and right here we're using our bronze series 9 shaver Just kind of going over the same spots just so I could get the best results and always going against the grain and now right here we're going in with our number two guard the walking going slow getting all the hair the same size Here we're just kind of getting the small hairs on top that kind of stick out, flicking out, kind of doing a free hand with the guard, trying my best not to get too much hair. Alright, and right here we're setting in our first guideline with our Babelis FX. Just about an inch wide, going around, making sure all the hair is at the same length. Now we will want to close the, the lever all the way and kind of flick at that bottom line and yeah sometimes it'll be scary for beginners but just kind of trust it just flick out and just flick for that bottom line and right here we're going with our lever halfway hitting what's left and not going past our line So I do see some little hairs I could touch up so I'll just use my lever, play with it and get those dark spots out. Alright so right here we are going ahead and putting in our second guard line with the one guard fully closed. And this isn't really putting in a guide line it's just kind of deep bulking for our half guard. And here it is, we're going fully close, flicking out yet again at the very bottom line. Not going in too much, but barely hitting it. And 
let me know if you guys see a difference in the focus of the camera in the comments below. Alright, so now we're going ahead and hitting it with our one guard fully open just kind of floating it in there making sure not to go too up and just getting it in the perfect spot now we want to go halfway closed and we want to use our corners here so we won't raise the guide too high And yes guys, I'm still in high school. I'm a senior this year, so I am about to graduate. I mean, hopefully we have a graduation, but I'm wishing for a graduation and uh, we'll see how it goes. And here we are coming back in with our one guard. All the way open just kind of using my corners again getting the darker hairs where I put in the two then after that we'll go along and use shear over comb these are my thinning shears just kind of getting most of the bulk down cut down and um, I really like this technique it's quick and I like it So yeah guys if you have any future video ideas in mind just drop them down in the comments and i'll make sure to see them so then i could add more content and different types of videos to my youtube so right here we switched up the comb and this one i just like it so i could kind of get a more detailed cut and right here we're going in with our trimmers just point cutting at the very bottom taking out the line i put in that i see any little line markations and just hitting them with my corners not doing too much because then you'll have a problem that will be super hard to to fix and right here we're putting on the the vertical bar on the lineup alrighty guys so this is the other side and I'll just let you guys kind of chill out and watch the process Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out my Instagram as well at Brenna's Cuts. very close to hitting 1k followers on Instagram so 
just get me to that 1k so I could do a giveaway. Come on, I gotta give back to you guys. Alrighty, so right here, uh, we're putting in, kind of prepping our lineup, cause, oh man, he has a baby lineup and we gotta fix this. <laughs> so right here we add some hairspray, then we kind of air it down. Now we come back with the with the brush and lay it back down to get it nice and firm. So it'll be nice and easy whenever we come in with our trimmer. So right here, we're coming in, start in the middle. And since I'm right handed, I'll just ease my way to the right. And then once I'm finished all the way to the right, I'll go ahead and go to the left. Let me know guys what day of the week you guys would like to see a new video drop. And right here we're just kind of getting that perfect 90 degree angle. A lot of barbers don't really tell you about that. But they just kind of leave it out but it's kind of kind of a little trick you need to get a hang of so you could get that nice crispy lineup so my client also asked for the part in his hair so we're going to first start off by separating the hair and um, getting the trimmers and putting it in normally and then flipping them to get them to get the nice line in there and after that, we'll follow it up with the razor. But this client, his skin isn't too sensitive, so I didn't have to put uh, shave gel on him. And you see me using my shears kind of cutting the slight hairs that are in the way. All right, you guys, here's the end result. Thank you for watching and please like, comment and subscribe for more content. Thank you.